I wanted to comprehensively look at these different fishing locations and basically study them all in a specific way so that way I would know which one has the best bit output when you sell all the fish that you catch. So there are four different fishing locations throughout the digital world. Here you can see on Mod Ship 3.0, if you go left down the bridge, at the very bottom end right here, you'll see a fishing spot. Now you can see at the, the end of this dock, not all the way down, there's a fishing spot right here, and there's a few other places in this area as well. You can go fishing here. And you get the same fish, basically, no matter which of these positions you go to. Another place to fish is in the Nye Plains on the vast plateau. You can see this bridge down here. When you go to the bridge on the left hand side, it will allow you to fish. If you go to Bunner Resort and head left and go all the way to the bottom, there will be a fishing hole there. Right over by this blue resource, you can see you can fish in any of these areas. The final place besides Flotia that you can fish is in Fulti Ex Machina. If you go to Hinterland, you can get there easily to the sewers. Here you basically want to turn back around go through here towards uh, Path Fork Island. And then you can see the sewer right down here. Heading into the drainage path. You should be able to fish down here. If you go right to this location over here, you can fish. Then within the town itself, if you go to the fishing area, there's a total of five different pools which hold different types of fish. So if you go to your town and you go to the fishing part of the entertainment district, you'll see that in Flodia you have five different pools here. One number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So there are five different lures and I utilize all different lures in all locations in order to show the differences of what type of fish you catch and which lure actually gives you the most value in terms of money per your time investment. Gomamon is the one to get the lures from. And if you want to know more details about what each of these Digimon do for your city, there's another video that someone did that I'll link in the description below. You can check that out. But basically what you're going to need for this is the better rod, but also the rates of catching. Although you might not get as much money as I have if you have the earlier rod or you don't have access to all the pools, um, it should still outline which one would be the best for you. So here's basically all the math that I've done for this calculations. You can see every one of these lures and every one of these spots. I had to spend over 10 minutes catching a bunch of fish. You can see the total number of fish, the price associated with it, and I've done all these spots. It took a lot of time, but I really wanted to make sure that I was getting a general idea of how much money I can get. So to put in perspective for 10 minutes, you would start fishing every time there would be an interruption in your Digimon that you need to take care of them. You'd have to stop the timer, so that way you're getting 10 minutes of actual fishing. Then I took those numbers, I multiplied by 6 to theoretically make about an hour of catching time, and I calculated how many bits you can get per one hour. And I just want to preface this by saying that there are random catch rates for all of the different fishing holes, like every time you fish, you're not guaranteed to be successful. So these numbers can vary quite a bit. I just tried to come up with general numbers based off my findings. So after 10 minutes at each spot, I sold all the fish and I calculated everything out and this is what I ended up finding. So for normal lure, you're looking at your top spots starting from the top to the bottom, spot number three, number five, number four, the Boney Resort fishing spot, Mod Cape, 
there's multiple spots there, but they're all pretty much the same. And then continuing to go down, there's the next few that have significantly lower money associated with them. So in case you're trying to use this guide to figure out what type of fish that you can find, so if you only have the normal lure, these are basically what you can find in all five different spots. So if you want this guide, please um, just pause the video right here and you should be able to read all the different types of fish and you can figure out which spot you need. So next for feather lure, again, spot number five and spot number three are at the top. Spot number four, Mod Cape, Boney Resort. Spot number one and spot number two are extremely low. Again, here's the fish that you can catch with the feather lure. If any of this interests you, pause the video right now, take a look. For snake lures, the number one spot I found was number three, which is extremely high based off my calculations. Now, remember what I said, it can be variable, but this is definitely one of the best spots that exists with the snake lure. Next mod cape fishing spots, spot number four, spot number five. This one is pretty high, like for the most part with snake, most of the places you can fish are going to give you a good amount of money per 10 minutes. Again, you can pause the video if you want to see if you can use snake lure and get a specific type of fish. So for frog lure, spots number four and five are the highest. Um, spot number three, mod cape, and fishing spot number two. However, this one has a little bit of a caveat. If you have Mega Seedramon and you were able to give the Mega Seedramon Digituna or Digi Snakehead like your requests, it will add those fish into spots number four and five. So with spots number spot number four, it will have Digi Tuna, and when you do that, that actually gives you the most money possible. So if you don't have that ability at this point, you don't have Mega Seedramon recruited, it's fine. It's still a really good fishing spot for four and five, but if you have that, it gives you even more. Same thing with spot number five. If you have Digi Snakehead, two Digi Snakehead, you can give that to Seedramon. And it will increase your output of money uh, very slightly. Those two are more comparable. So for frog lure, this is what you can catch in any of the areas. Note that I have that you can get the Digi Tune and the Digi Snake Head as long as you give Mega Seedramon those specific fish. And then finally for crayfish lure, it's an all right lure as well. Spots number five and number three are the best. Mod Cape. Same thing with the spots number four and five. You greatly increase the output of spot number four if you can catch Digi Tuna in it. That becomes one of the best ones in the whole game. And spot number five, again, is fairly comparable with the Digi Snakehead, so it's not necessary to do that. Again, pause it if you need to see what's what type of fish you can catch with the crayfish lure. Finally, these are the eight spots with different lures that have the best potential for money based off my initial calculations. You can see spot four and spot five appear quite a few times. Um, most of the lures here are frog, crayfish, and snake, pretty much all of them. And then some require the tuna or the digi snake head upgrades. However, there are still four up here that have very high output that don't require that. So if you want to get the most, make sure to check out these spots. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. I wanted to create a guide and a video put everything about Digimon fishing in one place, especially making money in Digimon World Next Order, because for me it was very difficult and I wanted to find the most efficient way of doing it and no video existed. So I decided to make the video and I want to share it with you guys. I also have plans for two or three more Digimon World Next Order videos. So if that kind of stuff interests you and in having strategies for the later trophies in this game, be sure to subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions about these strategies or any of the future videos, be sure to leave it in the comments. I'm always willing to have a conversation and some discussion with this kind of stuff. If you've liked my content overall, be sure to check out my other videos. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to do in the future, if you want me to do a Digimon World Next Order study on the stock market, um, just let me know and I would be happy to look into that. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you checking out the video. Until next time, peace.